baby. At 68, his voice still seduces. What about the way you love me? Do you do anything to keep your voice as no. good as it still sounds? Nothing? No. Some people's voice change as they get older or yeah. different ages, but mine is still about the same. I can hit higher notes now. Yeah. One thing I do is step on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> One of the great soul singers of his time, the Reverend Al Green's career has taken him from gospel to R&B and back, winning him the 11 Grammy Awards that decorate his church office in Memphis. Now we've getting this Kennedy honors mm -hmm. coming up here now. It's a pretty big honor. When you look on the title lines on the side, it says Rose Kennedy, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, wow. Mm -hmm. If those people think I could really sing, wow. Mm -hmm. I never thought I would get this far. Then Green's voice caught the ear of producer Willie Mitchell. So Willie said, I wonder if you could come down and look at the studio. I says, um, no. So I went back to Grand Rapids. Why didn't you go? I didn't know what he wanted, and I didn't see the vision that he saw. Mm -hmm. He discovered Al Green. I didn't. I was trying to sing like Wilson Pickett and James Brown and mm -hmm. all these other folks. Mm -hmm. You know, they were, they, they were great people to me. Not yeah. Al Green. I mean, Al Green, who's Al Green? Yeah. Come on, man. But he changed his mind and went down to Royal Studios in Memphis, where Mitchell would push his protege. And then he goes, Al. I say, yeah? You're trying too hard. Relax and sing Al Green. I said, yeah, but see, I don't know how Al Green sound. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to even talk. I said, well, this man done made me mad. I went outside. I got my Corvette. I did donuts in the street. <laughs> and I let off some steam. And I come back in. I said, OK, now, what do you want to sing? I'm not going to even try to even put no emphasis in it at all. He said, well, OK, let's see the moon. Da, poo, ba, ba, I said, I'm so in love with you, whatever you want to do. And he stopped the machine right there, and he said, now that's Al Green. I says, oh, God, you scared me to death. <laughs> it's all right with me. It was 1970, and the next four years would be Al Green's golden era. He and Mitchell would score eight gold singles. 